If you enjoy the video and my content, please consider supporting my channel over on Patreon at patreon.com slash katiedidart. Thanks so much! Time to open the December 2018 Art Snacks box. Yay! <laughs> Hello, my adorable squidlings. It is Katie here, and welcome back to another video. As you probably already know, we're going to be opening up this box today in this video. And yeah, I am really sorry there was not a video this past Friday. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm just getting over... A little bit of con flu, which is fun. Um, I don't usually get it that often, but I interacted with a lot of people over the weekend, and I'm not really surprised. So, yeah. Um, but without further ado, we're going to be opening up this Art Snacks box. Also, before we get into the video, I do have a few announcements to make. So, the first one is about my Zodiac calendar. Pre-orders for that do end at the end of this week, which is December 15th. It's Saturday, and if you want to get one of those uh, and you want to get a sticker of your Zodiac sign, don't forget to hurry up and sign up. I have very limited quantities of those. I only ordered a few, so if you're interested in getting a calendar for 2019 and you want to get it from me with all the Zodiac signs, I would super appreciate it. And the link will be on the screen to where you can go check that out. Also, secondary announcement is the fact that from now until the end of the month, anybody that signs up for my Patreon, any tier, will be getting a special Christmas card from me, so that'll be really exciting. So if you're interested in getting something like that, again, link will be on the screen to my Patreon to where you can go check it out. All right, now back to regular programming. Now, if you don't know what Art Snacks is, I will have information in the description below, as well as a link to where you can go subscribe. It's not, like, affiliated or anything. I just like Art Snacks, so I'm sharing the love, I guess. But, um, anyway, Art Snacks is an art supply subscription box that you get every single month. Comes with four to six full-sized, or supposedly full-sized items. It's usually, like, pens and pencils and stuff like that. Usually not paper. Um, so you get art supplies every month pretty much, and it is $24 a month plus free shipping if you're US, and $24 plus $10 shipping if you're international. So yeah, let's talk about the stuff now. Actually, you know what? We're going to make this a little faster, and we're just going to dump literally everything out and get the box out of the way. First off, we have a sticker, and it's like a little Christmas sweater. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Then we've got a candy. Mine's a little busted up, but that's okay. You know what? Candy is still candy. I will probably save this and pop this into a hot cocoa because I love peppermint. Literally everything. Uh, then we also have the information card, which I'm going to set aside to reference as we go. So first off in the box, we have a set of four pit artist pens by Faber-Castell. Funny story, I literally just bought one of these um, regular brush pens. Uh, which is really funny. I swear, every time I uh, buy something right before an Art Snacks, I usually get it in that Art Snacks box. At least one thing, so uh, that's a little frustrating, but it's also really funny, so that's okay. If anything else, I can always just pop it in a giveaway. Alright, this is the weirdest contraption. Aha, there we go. So again, we have four of these, um, so we have... 1.5 S, C, S, B, and B. B stands for brush, S stands for soft brush. I'm not sure what S, C stands Oh, the, the card says soft calligraphy, and this is just a 1.5 bullet tip. The Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pins Black Set of Four, a $13.25 retail. This is the staff favorite of the month. Experience the unique combination of a modern, easy-to-use pin and traditional India ink with Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pins. India ink is pigmented and very light fast. It can last over 25 years and waterproof, making it a popular choice among artists everywhere. This set has all your drawing needs covered with four different nib styles, B for brush, SB for soft brush, SC for soft calligraphy, and 1.5 which is a bullet tip. Then everything else is in this tissue paper, so we're going to open that really quick. All 
right, so we have three things in here. First off, we're just going to get this giant thing out of the way. This is a crank paint marker. This is the K75. Wow, wow, wow. This thing is huge. All right, so look at this chisel tip. Um, I'm assuming it's silver. If you got any color variations of anything that I got and you get the Artist Xbox, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you got. Um... So yeah, this is just a giant paint marker, and I'm not going to be getting the ink to come out yet, but I will soon enough. The Crink K75 paint marker, a $12 retail, headquartered in Brooklyn, New York, Crink makes creative tools for creative thinkers. The K75 paint marker features a 7mm chisel tip and is filled with permanent alcohol-based paint. This ultra-smooth opaque paint maintains its vibrant color on a variety of light or dark surfaces. To use, shake well until thoroughly mixed, remove the cap, press the nib down several times until saturated. Next up is a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pin, and I'm really excited about this because they now have colored ones, and Art Sacks included them in the box. I got green. Um, I'm, I'm meh about green. We'll see how this goes, but... I am relatively excited because, uh, as far as I know, the only other colors that were available before now were black, and I actually own these and I really do like them, so, and I believe this is the hard nib, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. The Tombow Fudenosuke Colors Brush Pin, a $3.49 retail, this is a new product. The wait is finally over. The much-loved Tombow Fudenosuke Hard Tip Brush Pin now comes in a variety of vibrant colors. A wonderful tool for both hand letterers and illustrators, this water-based pen features a firm brush nib that allows for an easy transition from thick to thin lines. And then lastly, we have a General's, it says drawing right here, but on the card it actually says it's pronounced drafting, so we're just going to go ahead and go with drafting, even though this does not spell drafting. Um, this is just a regular pencil. I'm not really quite sure on the hard of lead because it does not say um but i'm pretty sure we've had one of these before and i don't remember not liking it so uh i am excited general's drafting pencil 81 cent retail we love a sturdy well-rounded pencil made by family-owned general pencil company in jersey city new jersey the drafting pencil can be used for pretty much anything it has a thick core and is made with genuine incense cedar wood with which ensures smooth sharpening and performance. The soft graphite delivers super dark marks, so you'll achieve beautiful dark to light gradations on any bright surface. Here is everything that came in the box. Just a quick recap, there are the four Faber-Castell Artist Pens, then we have the General's Drafting Pencil, a Crink K75 marker, and then we also have the Tombow Fudenosuke Brush Pen in green, plus our little sticker and our little candy. Uh, this is a fun little box. It's something um, that seems pretty fun to work with, so we'll see how that goes. Um, it's just a lot of pens these last few months, so, um, I, <laughs> I'm kind of hesitant, I don't know. Anyway, um, as I use them in the illustration that we're about to see, I will go ahead and give you my thoughts and opinions on this box in particular. Uh, looking at it, again, like I said, it looks like a fun box, so we'll see. But anyway, let's go ahead and head into the illustration, and I'll talk to you further. Watch out! All right, now it is time to talk about the box and the products in particular, but before we do, I want to let you all know that the retail value of this box, according to the card that they gave in the box, is $29.55, which is pretty nice when you consider that um, a lot of you probably paid around $24 for it. Um, if you're international and you paid the extra $10 shipping, of course, you know, shipping is a little more expensive, so you want to factor that in as well, but honestly, I think as far as price-wise goes, uh, the box was definitely worth it. I'm going to have some of my same complaints as I've had the past couple of boxes now. I'm kind of sick of pins. Like, I don't know, I just, all they're sending is pins. Like, there's hardly any pencils anymore. There's no paints. It's just, pins. I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just being nitpicky. I mean, I did have a lot of fun with this box. I really like the drafting pencil and will definitely be adding that to my arsenal. Um, I could have lived without the crank marker. It was fun to add some really silvery, fun highlight type things, but, uh, will I use it a lot? Probably not. Um, I did really enjoy the Faber-Castell 
uh, pens. However, I didn't actually like the soft calligraphy one. It was very strange. I don't know, like usually calligraphy pens are very durable and this one was just a little strange. <laughs> Um, and then I really, really, I think my favorite item in the box was the Tombow Fudenosuke pin. I don't know. It was just really fun to use, and it was an extra pop of color that I got to add into my art. So this month for Patreon, my theme is winter mythological creatures, and, um, I was going to stick strictly with, with winter creatures, but I couldn't resist drawing this little dragon putting the star on top of a Christmas tree. I don't know. It, just, it was a fun idea, and I'm really glad I did it. So, um, yeah. So, prints and stuff like that will be available on Patreon. Um, as well as, like I mentioned earlier, each patron will be getting a Christmas card from me. So, uh, if you're interested in joining my Patreon, um, there are links in the description and on the uh, screen. Uh, it popped up earlier, though. But anyway, overall, this box was a lot more fun than the last two I have previously used, so that is a bonus. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Stay tuned for my other videos. I post Mondays and Fridays if you're interested on when I post. If you're new here and you aren't already a part of our cute squid pod, there's a subscribe button down below. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!